What's going on, everybody? We're gonna do the ABC marking drill today. I've got Quinny, old Quinny 1010, sitting in the holding vine, nice, nice for me. Um, this is a great marking drill that all of you can do at home. Get you a bird thrower, a little help out in the field, and uh, awesome, awesome drill. So I'll walk you through it, but first, do me a favor. <whistles> click subscribe, give it a thumbs up. If you don't like it, that's your problem, not mine. Anyways, let's get Quinn, let's get rolling. Sit. So we've got a short mark. Sit. Good. Being thrown. Sit. Good. Right to left. Quinn. First bird, short throw, right to left. Behind that bird is another station, and it's being thrown left to right. And the concept here is like she just picked that bird up. What a dog. On the next bird, she's gonna to have to run through the old fall of that mark. It's a great concept to teach a dog. Here, sit. Yes. This whole drill is about teaching concepts, marking accuracy, and the concepts would be running through the old fall, which is this next mark, and then I'll describe the next one. Here we go, sit. Quinn, here we go. She's just ran through two pieces of cover, currently running through the old fall. No real hang up there. She also had to go in between or like past a hay bale. Great concept there as well, if I do say so myself. Um, I'm using the terrain features, which is mode strips, hay bales to help make these marks have a little bit more difficulty to them. All right, so now she went and ran through that old fall. Great job, good dog. This next mark where Kate is going is what's referred to as a mom and pop or a flower pot. One mark is thrown this way, dog goes and gets it. One bird's thrown this way. The bird he's about to throw is being thrown right to left and that dog has to go really tight to that short gun station. Some dogs will flare the gun station means like give it wide berth. They'll, and then now they're off their line, they're gonna have a crappy hunt, whatever. So this mark is teaching that dog a comfortability with running past a gun. Sit, sit, good, right there, good, good. Quinn. All right, watch her go now. She's gonna hold that line nice and snug. What a dog, that's beautiful. Holding a good line. Fading a little to the left. Putting on a little bit of a hunt. Let's see what she does here. Going back out there. And bang. Nope. Good dog. Uh, all right, this next one is being thrown left to right from that same station. So there's your mom and pop or your flower pot situation, okay? And Cade is also going to, I'm gonna remind him, hey Cade, make sure you take five good steps for me for this one, bud, thank you. So this is called like an Ontario 10 step, but really we're only doing five steps. So he is going to throw the bird about five, 10 feet away from the four wheeler. After he throws it, he's gonna go sit back down on the four wheeler. Good right there. Set. Good. Quinn. So now he scoots back, which will oftentimes suck the dog towards the gun station. And she's sort of doing that. She's sort of fading into him. She's got to push off that to get her mark. And bang, good dog. Um, and now we got Jill over here. Jill is throwing one outside of the test. It's kind of a gimme bird. It's a little bit more chill. Uh, good confident builder after they might've had a little bit of a difficulty here. And so she's got to angle across a patch of cover, go pick up a short bird. What a dog, what a dog. So again, thinking about the concepts that we're teaching here. Here, here, sit. Running through an old fall running tight to a gun station, precision marking. Quinn. 
Quinn and going to the area, putting on an intelligent hunt, improving a dog's marking ability. This is the ABC drill. There's a, other little versions that you can do. This is the one I like the most, um, but you can use white stick men, you can use holding blinds, you can use the hay bales, you can do all sorts of cool stuff. Here, girl, uh, with the ABC drill set. Yes, but that was Quinn. That was your ABC drill. Thanks for watching. Do me a favor, if you haven't already, click subscribe, give it the thumbs up. Appreciate you very much, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.